So, Paul, originally mm -hmm. you thought you were going to stay through the entire competition and then go home. What made you change your mind and go home early? Well, at first, after I hurt my hand, I thought it'd be good for me to stay at the competition, support Morgan and the rest of the team. But then once I thought about it, I realized that it's best for me to take care of my body. And if I get home earlier, I have more time to uh, adjust after the flight. There's the, the swelling that I'm dealing with. I need to keep my hand elevated. I need to ice it. And it's a better environment for be me to do that at home. So where are you right now? And what do the doctors tell you about the broken bone in your hand? Um, right now, with what I know, it's um, a spiral fracture. Um, I need to see the doctors there. They're going to tell me exactly the game plan as far as the recovery. After that, it could be anywhere between four and seven weeks from what I've been told. You were cruising through this competition. I mean, it was, you were close to the end. It was, I think Tim Daggett said it was the best he had ever seen you on P-Bars. What happened? Yeah. Well, the whole meet that I had was spectacular. It was one of the best performances I've had throughout my career. And uh, going into that last event, I felt very confident. I wasn't holding anything back. And um, I went into one of my the, the skills, the, the pirouette, right before the skill that I hurt myself on. And I was a little bit over the top on that handstand. And I think it created more swing. And then I ended up coming down harder on my hand than I normally would have. We were just a couple of yards away, and we heard the pop or the crack and then the gasp from everyone who was standing around the P-bars. What was flashing through your mind at that point? Uh, when I first caught the skill, I felt my finger torquing to the side, and then um, I felt the pressure transfer up into my hand, and, and uh, that's where I heard the sound and then felt the pain. So I knew at that point that something was wrong. Um, I remember thinking, you know, should I hop off the equipment or should I try to finish the routine? And uh, at that point, I decided that I was just going to come down and see, you know, how bad it was. You, you talked about the time frame that you know right now, but you don't know for certain. Mm -hmm. Realistically, even in the best case scenario, is there going to be enough time to come back to the form that you would want to be in? Well, this puts a lot of pressure on me. It's hard to be back in full um, Olympic shape without having you know multiple weeks of training before the Olympic Games. But um, if I can stay in good shape, do a lot of uh, strengthening exercises while I'm recovering my hand, and um, hopefully it's a short recovery and I have a good uh, doctor to work with me and a uh, good therapist. So um, I'm just hoping for the best at this point and uh, you know, never count me out at any point.